We are going to inspect this Minolta X700 35mm SLR camera and just check it over here. Um, generally it looks pretty good. There's a little bit of wear right here, probably from, I don't know if something must have hit it or wear from the strap or something. Um, anyway, let's uh, start going down through the shutter speeds and we'll watch it. There's that one one thousandth. 1 500th, 1 250th, 1 160th, 1 30th, 1 15th, 1 8th, 1 4th, 1 1/2, 1 full second. The bulb setting, and that keeps the lens stop down and the shutter open as long as I hold the button down, and then it will release. And so let's uh, also take the lens off so we can observe the mirror flipping and the shutter action here. Set it on one second. As you can see, back to the pressure plate, and the mirror flips out of the way nicely. If we look at the lens here for a moment, we can see this is the uh, the later style MD lens with the locking uh, minimum aperture, which is used on this camera, and uh, it engages this little MD tab right here. We should also point out that the aperture follower ring on the camera body is good. It's uh, spring-loaded and snaps back. And so here on the lens, we've got very smooth focus, very nice, as typical on these Minolta lenses, always very nice. Um, unlock the aperture ring, and we can feel the clicks at the different settings. Set it to a small aperture, f16, we can see that it's stopped down. Very quick blades. I do not see any fungus down in here. But I do see, uh, I see some specks that look like they're internal. Uh, probably wouldn't really make any difference in the photos that would be taken, but there are a few specks down in there that I can see. I see one right there. I don't suppose it'll show up on the video. There's a little white spot, or at least it looks white in the light, but it's just a tiny little, little spot. Can't, can barely see it when it's open. Anyway, uh, lens mounts closely, uh, nicely onto the body. If we go around the back here, and open it up. The rewind crank is in good condition. We can watch the shutter here from the front. That's good. Film advance looks good. And if you were to press the rewind button on the back, it frees up this to, to go like it's supposed to for rewinding. And then it re-engages when you cock it forward. I do feel a little bit of uh, residue along the door edges, likely from the uh, light seal material. Um, I would imagine it's probably still serviceable, but at some point that certainly will need to be replaced, and it could be any time. I don't, I don't think that it would uh, cause a problem to use it the way it is, but that should be done. That closes nicely. Um, it does come with a Minolta strap. You see the Minolta name on there. And then it's got this little Minolta shutter blind that is handy for when you're taking pictures on a tripod. You can slide that over the viewfinder and then it will prevent stray light from entering there and messing up the uh, uh, metering. One last thing that I, I know we didn't check was the self-timer. And we flip that little lever up there. And there now we see the little light blinking here. And pretty soon so the self-timer's working.
Over here we uh, is where we set the uh, the ASA. If we lift this ring up, I can turn that and see different values there. There's that 400, and you can set exposure compensation here. We'll leave that at zero. It also has an audible beep that if we turn the uh, the on-off switch to the sound position there and it senses that it's going to not be the right exposure or that it's too dark to handhold or there's several conditions under which it will beep I believe and so uh, you can hear that that's working as well and if you find that annoying you can turn it on without the beep. It comes with a simple cap uh, it's unbranded and just fits on there so, reasonably good example of the X700. There's a little bit of wear, and there's a little dirt in the corners and things that if you really wanted to meticulously uh, clean it up, you could. So, nice example of the X700.